Hey guys, Tim McCain was back in the shop again, do a couple more videos for you. Um, we thought it would be a good idea to talk to you about some uh, door window frames. We want to give you a little bit of information on why we use them, what they're used for, and uh, some a few little tips uh, if you're going to be using them on your own car. So a lot of times, uh, you know, uh, doors, uh, if, you're, if you're lighting up your car or, or you're changing from an existing door to a lighter door to save a little bit of weight, most of these doors just have the bottom half of them in a carbon fiber or fiberglass, but the, the top half of the door where the window is um, doesn't really have any frame around it. It doesn't have anything to support the Lexan. There are a few body styles that do, but there's only just a very few. Most of them are going to be configured like this door here, which is for a late model Camaro body style. So you can actually see some of the details in this window frame. We have this in uh, a couple of different versions. So we have an an unbent kit which comes with all the tubing and tabs and hardware but our most popular version of this is the pre-bent window frame kit and we have a ton of different bodies that we have these for you can get on our website and kind of look at the uh, different styles we have and if it fits the body that that you're currently using we can supply you with a uh, pre-bent window frame kit still needs some fabrication but a lot of the the engineering is out of it so what you're going to get is this is quarter inch 4130 it's 049 wall so it's real light you're going to have uh, tabs that attach the window to and you can even see the nut on the inside here so you're going to get a uh, this part of it bent and the tabs welded on and this part here is going to be long we're going to give you some extra tubing here and if you kind of look at this you can see where we've flattened it out in a press so we just put it in our hydraulic press and we just flatten the end of this and then we round it off so you can cut this off to your desired length and we align it with the end screw hole so this hole is going through the window and through the window frame and attaching it to this lip at the top of the door and then these screws are all spaced out these tabs are spaced evenly around here all the way to the front and we're doing the same thing up here at the front side of the door we're flattening that out and fastening that through the window screw through the lexan through the door and through the window frame and then you're, you're also going to get some extra tubing here for this brace and these two inner braces now we use some rod ends here that just gives us a little more fine tuning adjustment this tubing is fairly easy to drill and tap to a 1032 thread and that's what these are this is 1032 pitch um, threaded up in inside the tube and this plate that's on the inside of here has just got a through hole and this has got a uh, 1032 uh, stainless button head here holding it on. So what it allows you to do is to adjust this and pull this window in or push it out to make it fit the body properly. So, you know, when you, uh, these, these windows have a little curve in them and when you close the door, you don't want to have too much pressure up here. You want to have just enough to hold it in, but not enough so that it hits first and it bends the window out. And you can see we've bent this one here on the bottom. This is just for clearance because the chassis is close right here, so we couldn't go straight. Sometimes you can go straight down and not bend this, but we needed this clearance to get by the uh, chassis tubing. So the window is obviously fit to this bottom lip on the door, and then this window frame is just uh, put together with the 4130 tubing, and then we powder coated it black. We like to powder coat them black, so they, they really want them to be kind of invisible. They, uh, when you close the door, when the inside of the car is dark, you really don't see the window frame that much, and so they're kind of inconspicuous, but they're really strong. I mean, they, they are very good. They don't need to be any bigger than this. Quarter-inch tubing is just fine, and they are resilient. Uh, they will hold up under a variety of conditions, and some of these cars are, are going really fast. I mean, they're up over 250 miles an hour, and these windows, along with this upper door latch, will, uh, will hold in just fine. So uh, you can kind of see this configuration. It's, it's laid out nice and even. All the screws are spaced out. The hardware that comes with the kit is going to be stainless, but we do have an option for black nuts and black bolt hardware. So if you, uh, if you wanted to do that, you can, you can black that stuff all out. There's lots of options for this, but we do have a lot of body styles that this fits, and we're adding more all the time. So um, it's a real convenient way to start this process. Uh, you just, uh, you're going to have to be real careful when you're putting this together because obviously there's some welding to do right here. When you are building this, if you're using the actual window that you're going to put in the car, what you can do is the, the windows, when they're new, they'll have a plastic coating on each side. 
if you're going to tack this right here, you want to get this away from that window so you can uh, take your, this would be Clicoed on while you're temporarily holding it. You want to pop those loose and then uh, get you a, a piece of aluminum, like a piece of 60 thousandths aluminum and tape it up and slip it in between there so that you can put just a little zip tack on that uh, tube while you're uh, putting it together. And then once you do that, you can take the window out and, and complete the welding. But you're going to have a couple joints up here that need to be welded that are close to the window. These tabs are already going to be welded for you, so you've just got this joint here and the one at the back. Um, as long as you're careful, you won't have any problems. You just got to get that window away from it, tack it on, and then uh, you want to fit that in first, and then you can adjust it down here. If you're not going to use the rod in, this will get welded down here to a plate that bolts on, and um, it'll, it'll be a set adjustment. So you want to do that last so that you can uh, um, have it tacked up here and fasten it to the plate down here. And what we would do then is at the end of this tube, we would bend that in a little bit. We'd just put a little bend in the bottom of it, cut it off flat, and then weld it to that plate. So you'd have a plate there. There's also a plate on the inside, so we want to sandwich that because these doors aren't real thick. You can kind of see this is a real light carbon door, so it doesn't have a lot of material right here. Um, these kits are really nice. They're easy to use. We've been uh, using this design for almost 30 years and, and it does a really good job. So uh, good, good item if you're putting a car together or if you're updating an existing car. Um, these window frame kits are, are uh, available and very easy to use. So if you need some help with that, just give us a call and let us know.